So I'm going to look at some posts on delusional artists and deluded artists. I am an artist myself, so I will go a little deeper into these posts, talking through the artist's possible difficulties. I'm not just pointing and laughing, so to speak. If you could give my video a like, I would really appreciate it. It would really help out my channel. Let me know what you think, if you agree or disagree, and let me know of any art-related subreddits to look at. So for the Switch controller and fish earrings, these were together. There is no price, so I can't really comment on whether a price is good or not, just the merchandise themselves. The controllers are almost good. The cutout is alright. You really don't need everything to be clean cut when it's handmade. People are forgiving when it comes to handmade stuff having small irregularities. Some buyers might even be looking for something like that. They could have the look of buying from an indie artist if they're wearing something that has some small irregularities in it. The issue for me here is the coloring. I'm not sure if the person's hands are from the process of coloring these or if the colors are coming off onto their hands as they hold them, but it is giving the look that the ink is coming off the surface, which is not good for the listing photo. It looks like it was colored in with a marker. If all you have is a marker and you need that to do coloring, then so be it, but you should follow it up with smoothing it out. You can use a paintbrush and a bit of water, or you can use a cloth. The cloth might lift the pigment up, but I think it's better to be transparent and smooth rather than being opaque and messy. And that's messy, but not in a good way messy. Like me, subscribe! And even if there's a little bit of marker strokes that you can see, it's okay, but just on this level, it's just too much. The fish earrings, they seem pretty cool to me. I got from the comments that they are empty soy sauce packets that come with takeout sushi. I've never seen these before, so I don't feel that connection to them being garbage, and they seem cool to me. But to purchase them, I'm not sure if I would or how much I would pay. Since it seems that these are not available to any sushi places available to me, if I did want them, I would have to buy them. But again, I'm just not sure if I would. The Charmander is tagged bad art, as a lot of these are. I, I can't stand that phrase, I don't believe in bad art, all art is good. And this Charmander is good. The only criticism maybe some people can have is the lines are slightly messy, but even with that, it looks good the way that it is. There's a caption here that there's no need to watermark it so much, implying that it's not good enough for someone to want to steal it. But there are notorious art thieves who will remain nameless that steal other people's fan art and sell it as their own. It's actually an issue. Unfortunately, the watermarking won't help. The art thieves will still be able to steal the art. Again, art that has small calculated inaccuracies are good in fan art. It indicates that this is an independent artist's work and not just original characters. There's lots of different styles of fan art and sometimes lines are a little bit messy, but it doesn't mean it's bad. It gives it character, within reason, of course. The caption for this mentions that the artist traces over pictures. Do I have news for you? This is a technique that is used by professional artists that you probably respect a lot and will boast about their talent. For example, background paintings, they are sometimes painted over or in some cases just completely reused. Disney does this often. Even 3D modelers do this kind of stuff. They will import a picture and model their meshes to the imported picture placed behind the workspace within their software. Going back to this art, you can make your own judgment on what should be copied or traced and how much it should be altered by the artist. Personally, I wouldn't pay for this just because it looks like one of those drawing apps that automatically turns pictures into drawings, but I'm not saying it's bad art, although I don't believe in that phrase, so I don't know what that means coming from me. Judging by the phrasing used when posting this, the OP seems to be having an emotional reaction to this. Sometimes that happens in the delusional artist thread. People see something that they don't agree with in art. You know, art is complicated. It, it's not so black and white like that. This was called Variety of Art Pieces by the creator, or at least I'm pretty sure it's the creator's title. I'm not sure if there are multiple art pieces stacked on each other, or if the art is done on layered canvases with other materials around it. I really like the look of the stacked material canvas. Now, for the art itself, it needs more work. If you have difficulty drawing a face that is more photorealistic, it's okay. You can still make it work, but you need to be more stylized. And a more stylized portrait would suit a mixed media canvas like like this, in my opinion. I don't think this is worth $200 as it is. They could sell this, but I think someone would purchase it just for the stacked canvas and then they would just put something else in the middle or they would just paint over it with white or maybe some grays and have it like an abstract mixed media art, which would look amazing. 
So if you were to put a more stylized portrait on it, it would look something like this. I made something in Krita that might suit this. Or even if you fabricated a portrait out of denim or some other kind of material that would suit the rest of the materials in this. If it was a fabricated portrait made out of materials on this, it would be worth $200. And you might even be able to up it from there. Something I want to point out that comes up in these type of reddit threads, people seem to really be having emotional reactions to what they're calling bad art when they don't really understand the true purpose of art and what it could mean to the supposed bad artists and even potential buyers or people viewing the art. Although if they didn't have that reaction to the art they consider bad art, I wouldn't be able to make this video so they're doing me a favor I guess. So that is r slash delusional and r slash deluded artists. If you made it this far, thank you for watching till the end and I hope to see you again soon.